Hey guys, welcome back. If this is your first time tuning in, my name is Chuck and you're watching Budget Panther Fan Channel. Coming up, I'm going to give a video response to Old Car Auto Guy. Okay, so if you're watching my channel, you're probably have already seen uh, Old Car Auto Guy's video where he's completed switching out <clears throat> all of his exterior bulbs to LED and now he's thinking about going inside the car to change the interior light bulbs to LED. Uh, he said he didn't know uh, what color he wanted to go with, you know, like a factory original or maybe some different colored lights. So I, I've set up my uh, Crown Vic and my Merc uh, with uh, LED lights on the interior. So I thought I'd make a video about it and maybe he can learn from my mistakes. So uh, this is what it looks like. I've got all the shop lights off and this is what it looks like when I hit the unlock button on the remote. I'll give you a, a walk around here. So that's what it looks like when you hit the unlock button. And there's quite a few bulbs on the inside of the car. Uh, starting at the front of the car, we're going to have uh, two bulbs in the footwell floorboard area. And then we're going to have three bulbs in the dome light assembly. Uh, one is the dome light and two are passenger and driver map lights. And then there's also two courtesy lights in the back seat uh, for the rear passengers. And then, uh, so let's get into that. So this is what it looks like when you open the, uh, the door. Uh, here's one of the uh, footwell lights over here. And then the other footwell passenger areas over here. Here's the, uh, the back door. I'll get inside. So this is what it looks like uh, sitting in the back seat. Uh, there's the uh, footwell light there. There's a footwell light there. And now here is the, uh, the dome light and this contains three bulbs. Uh, the one in the center is the dome light. And the one on the left and right are the passenger and driver map lights. And uh, if you're wondering why all three of them are on at the same time, it's because I modified it and I basically uh, wired up the map lights to come on with the dome light just to give some extra light. Uh, I made a separate video about that modification. I'll put that link down below. Um, okay, now let's go around here's the other rear door opening here's the front door now back here in the back in the back seat these are the two courtesy lights for the rear passengers back there. So uh, all of these bulbs I'll leave in the description. Uh, what uh, bulb I used, I used a Sylvania Zevo LED 168 and uh, they're pretty pricey. Uh, they're ten dollars each uh, but I went ahead and did it because they have a lifetime warranty. They're supposed to last for a really long time. Um, oh, I also do want to give you a shot of the glove box light. Uh, believe it or not, there is a light in there, but it's, uh, it doesn't work very well because of the direction it's pointed. Uh, it's right up in there. So I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do 
with this. I'm probably going to have to get a different light bulb and mount it in, an, in a location so that it throws light, you know, well, well diffused in all directions. Right now it's just looking into the side over there, but I need light right here to see what's in the glove box. Also, uh, even though it's technically not interior, I also did uh, put lights in the trunk, so I'll show that to you. So this is the trunk, and uh, I did a separate video on this install. I used a rock light kit with four different light pods. I'll show you where those are at. So it's got two light pods mounted on the trunk lid, one there and one there. And then it's got a light pod that I put underneath this little ledge here. And then I put the fourth one over underneath this ledge over here. So this worked out pretty good. Uh, all of the light bulbs, I believe they're all 6000K bright white. Uh, so I guess I didn't really go with a colored uh, selection. I just stayed with white. And since I showed you the trunk lights, I might as well show you the hood lights. I put the same kit that I put in the trunk under the hood. So there's two here. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. And so that is for under the hood. And uh, that's come in useful. You know, at the gas station at night when you're trying to check your oil or whatever you want to do under here. And uh, you'll notice they're on right now. And the reason why they're on is because I wired them to the trunk. So when I pop the trunk, they come on. So to shut them off, maybe you can see them when I close the trunk, they shut off. So... I did that because I didn't want to install an uh, external switch. I didn't want to put an extra inertia switch in here or an, another switch because I might forget to turn it off. And uh, what's real nice about this is all of these lights uh, run through the lighting control module and they all time out after five minutes or ten minutes they all shut off. So I never have to worry about all of these lights uh, killing the battery. Okay, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.